Hey y'all, Decamon here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, it's a little early, isn't it? We've still got, what, three plus months? Well, three odd months. You know, early April, early July, yeah, three odd months. <laughs> oh, so much time. So long until we finally get to Dawn Trail. But what are we doing in here today? Well, there's a special event going on, and I felt that this was worthy of a video because the FF14 FF16 crossover has begun. It's only alive for a month, too, so let's get this done while we can. It all starts here in Uldar! A land on fire. This quest is available for a limited time only, no kidding. Forgive me, my boldness, but you are Tikamontia, are you not? Mm hmm. I am indeed. And no, I will not be counting any nods in this video. This is a bonus, so none of them will be counting towards Dawn Trail's count. And Endwalker's count is not getting inflated by this. So, if you want to count them in your head, you're fine, but I'm not counting them here. Then my search is at an end. A big ogle gentleman tasked me to find you, you see, in hopes of entreating your aid with some matter he deemed not share with me. Pray remain here, and I shall fetch him at once. Hmm. Goggled individual, you say? Is it Sid? Or is it someone from the 16 verse? Greetings, champion. No, if they're calling me champion, it ain't... Uh, hi. Oh, it's Yoshi P himself! <laughs> Tis I who employed the young adventurer to facilitate this impromptu audience. As for the why, I have a request that you and you alone can fulfill. Pray listen well, for my tale begins with a most unsettling dream. Mm hmm. In it did I behold the evening sky, boundless and shimmering. As I drank deep of its beauty, I spied two stars sailing across the inky expanse, one of purest white, the other blushing scarlet, their courses set such that they might pass without collision. Sharply and suddenly, the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. High above a burning landscape did its path intersect with that of the white star, the conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber, I was awestruck by the spectacle. Uh, what does that mean? A lovely tale, but I fail to see what that has to do with me. Yeah, well, what's up, buddy? Hmm? I do not wish to make any claims with certainty, and yet... Hmm? Whatever greater meaning this vision might hold, I am convinced that the blazing white star represents the warrior of light. In other words, you. And should these portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the Scarlet Star, whomsoever they may be. I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land from my dream, that I might witness the vision's denouement. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. Okay. Compensation's always good, and I'm pretty sure I know what's coming on the, this quest line. But the question is, which territory in Eorzea might be considered burning, metaphorically or otherwise? I mean, probably the desert area. The Bowl of Embers where I battle different. The Burning Well in Eastern Thandaland. A place rich in corrupted crystal deposits? They can look quite fiery. Yeah, I'm thinking the Bowl of Embers, maybe. So, it's like the most fiery place I can think of. It's literally on fire most of the time. While its relation to flame cannot be denied, my instincts tell me nay. The scene from my dream was more rich than bow. A giant flickering outcrop of... Crystal, mayhap? Oh, of course! Ah, a place rich in corrupted crystal deposits. They can look quite fiery, indeed. Oh, I probably need to say the burning well. These crystals would have to be immense in size, akin to, to those which comprise the burning wall. Aye, that sight well resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. The first mystery is solved. We shall leave for Eastern Thalan and the infamous burning wall at once. The infamous burning wall, huh? Uh oh, <laughs> do we even get a unique quest accepted signature? I love it. <laughs> As we approach our final destination, please ensure that all vehicles remain in their proper positions. And yes, I'm sitting here showing off my regalia, uh, courtesy of the FF15 crossover event that happened a few years ago. <laughs> uh, still one of my favorite mounts, I'll be honest. It's just a gorgeous thing. It's also like the only four-seater I have, so it does come in handy for a few things. God, it is a busy day today here. Look at this crowd. Everybody's here. The Burning Wall, an apt name indeed. It is said that these crystalline structures were formed when falling shards of Dalamud pierced the land's ethereal current. 
Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life. But that is neither here nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spyglasses at the ready! A spyglasses at the ready, eh? Uh, use the spyglass from the vantage point. Where is the vantage point? Guys, where is the vant- Ah, oh, there it is. Jesus. It's buried under the bodies! Survey your surroundings for anything out of the ordinary. Yep, we know how to do this gag. Just gotta let the game load in first. Come on. Come on, game. You can do it. Alright. Anything out of the ordinary. Anything out of the ordinary. What are we looking for? Hmm? Oh, hey. It's Clive. How the hell did he end up in Eorzea? Make an unusual discovery. Yes, I found a strange man with a sword on his back. That's not at all unusual in here, actually. Not at all. Whoa, what's with the music? Never heard this one before. Hmm. It's not terrible, though. Oh! <gasps> it's a rendition of Sid's theme from 16! Oh! I like this version! Ugh. Well, I hope we get this as an orchestral roll. Where am I? What's... what's going on? Oh, interesting. This is early Clive! Before he got his tattoo removed. Oh, I wonder if this is going to be canon to 16, if this happens in the time skip. A dream led you to me. I understand how absurd that may sound. We ourselves were unsure of what awaited us here. As for who we are, I am content to be known as the Minstrel, though I am in truth the god of this world. The stalwart hero here is Decamontia. Might we have the pleasure of your name? Clive. Ah, uh, the last thing I remember was the ruins. The ruins? Which particular ruins, hmm? Uh, my head. Where? How did I come to be in this place? It would seem you were knocked senseless. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make for town and have a fort to... For... A doctor! They will have a doctor! Physician, look over you. <laughs> Fontisserie, I'm guessing, is the best way to print it. For, uh, say that. God, I can't talk today. Yeah, li, li, li. Tongue tied! I shall see our patient receives proper treatment. Would you mind waiting for us at Scholar's Walk? Scholar's Walk, huh? It's interesting that we're getting a, a rendition of Cly or Clive slash Sid's theme here. Well, damn. That thing just teleported us right here. Which, uh, very handy. My goodness. There's a lot of people working on this thing. It's not surprising. This is literally the morning of this dropping, so of course it's going to be popular. I also just noticed I, uh, I have a letter waiting for me to pick up. And I think I know exactly what it is, too. Our foundling is being cared for as we speak, but I'm told he should be released soon. Hopefully it was not but a bite of food and a little bed rest couldn't cure. Mm-hmm. So. Wait, what are we gapping about, huh? What are we gapping about? It's not like we got an echo or anything from him. Oh. And another rendition from the 16 here. It was kind of you to wait. Thank you. What of your condition? Much improved. The physica also noted no signs of injury or illness. Yet my memories remained hazy. How did I end up here? Whatever I was doing, it was important. I'm sure of it. I must return as soon as possible. I see. We cannot leave him in this state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. Mm-hmm. What of this city, Clive? Do any parts of Uldar strike you as familiar? 
unlikely, but you never know. Hmm? No. Maybe I've simply forgotten, but I recognize nothing. Hmm. Not all done, then. Still, I should like to think that the sights and sounds of a well-known locale will hasten your recovery. The burning wall, the place where we found you, is situated midway between Ulda and Gridania. Perhaps a trip to the Twelve's Wood is in order. Gridania, you say? The name rings no bells, but I have no better suggestions. And you would like to take me there? Mm-hmm. I would indeed. Meanwhile, I shall make the rounds of the neighboring settlements and ask if any have heard of you. Let us rendezvous in Gridania anon. <laughs> to Gridania. Oh, first quest is done and people are here T-posing while we wait for everybody to load up. Come on. There we go. Clive! Clive! Where are you in this? There you are. Good night. This entire situation has been knocked off balance, I'm afraid. Decamon, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own business to attend to. We can set out whenever you're ready. Hm. I don't mind doing this now. <laughs> I, I appreciate fully that we get the special 16 crossover icons there. Pain to recall. Clive is ready to travel to Gridania. I just realized I should probably be doing this on a class that can earn experience. Are we ready? Then let's head out. This Gridania the minstrel mentioned, is it far? Will we need mounts? Oh yeah, you're not going to be able to teleport. I wonder if I have to walk you the whole way. By airship? Wait, you have those. Well, not that I mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. Ah. Convenience! Modern air travel at its finest! And right to the airship field. Decamon, if I ask a foolish question, do these airships of yours actually fly? Yes. Ah, oh, foolish question indeed, then. Your expression tells me as much. Huh. First time traveling by airship? No airship travel where you're from, is there? Not to mention the things they're used to calling airships are a lot bigger than what we have. So it would seem. It's odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword. I understand what it's for and how to wield it. A foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. Yet hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt confusion, disbelief, for something that you clearly think of as commonplace. <laughs> yeah, no airships in Valisthea. Ugh, I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, but dwelling on this is pointless. Forward is the only way. Yes, it is. Man, maybe I should have been counting the nods. Don't know where I'd add them, though. All right, we're here in Gridania. I to feel that bracing wind, the deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory may be faulty, but that was an experience I'm sure I'd not soon forget. So, this is Gridania. It seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it best if I follow your lead. Clive is now following me around. Awesome. Did not expect to have a follow mission here. Uh, following me where is the question? Going up? I gotta hit the Moogle uh, mail stop, by the way, man. <laughs> ah! Here's my first stop. This tavern. That reminds me of somewhere I've been before. Hmm? No, it's no use. I can feel the memory, but it's like grasping at smoke. But maybe if you would show me somewhere else. Show you the etherite, that'll blow your mind. Rainy days, rainy days. There you are. A chocobo? Now that is something I recognize. It is more than that. I had my own chocobo once, I'm sure of it. But as for the when, the where... Mm hmm. So he does remember Ambrosia. But at the same time... Oh, that's not the male Moogle. That's the event Moogle. I need the male Moogle. An impressive crystal. Not a mother crystal, surely? No, not nearly large enough. Ugh, when I try to remember, the fog in my head somehow seems to grow thicker. 
Hmm. Though he does remember what a mother crystal is, at least. That's interesting and concerning in equal measure. Oh, must be a good scene here. A lot of people stopped. Hmm? Oh, this is truly a beautiful place. Were it not raining constantly here. Now oh, you've taken a liking to Gridania then. Have you remembered anything else? I mean, I'm glad you're enjoying the sights, if nothing, el if nothing uh, else is jogging your memory, at least. I do like what I've seen of it. Seems a peaceful life here among the trees. Only... I just can't shake the strangest feeling. Eh? As if it's too peaceful. As if that doesn't sit right. Patrol reporting, Commander. All is quiet with the Ixel. No sightings of Garuda. Garuda? For which we are profoundly grateful. At ease, soldier! The word Garuda is about to jog his memory, isn't it? Did he say Garuda? But I already killed that bitch. You there. This Garuda you speak of. <clears throat> oh, my head. Sir, are you all right? Dickamon, do you know this gentleman? Uh, sort of. Uh, we're escorting him around, trying to find his lost memories. Not working too well, apparently. Hmm. Memory loss, you say? I'm sorry to hear that. Though it seems Garuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. I was in a battle with Garuda. I fought her, I'm sure of it. I'm pretty sure I killed her, too. Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Of course. Garuda owes a... Uh, ah, sorry. Of course. Gradania owes a threat of data to any who stood against that destructive fiend. Huh. However, there is one more suited to the task than I. Our elder Seedseer is well versed not only in primal law, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She is surely your best hope for recovery. I will send word ahead to Stillglade Fane. Stand ready to escort our guests to an audience. Understood, Commander. Pray, find me at Nefisha's altar in Old Rudonia, and I will see that you are granted entry to the Lotus Stand. Mm-hmm. Man, I did not expect to uh, get the Seed Seer involved in this. Ah. Went to a fixed setting here. Greetings, honored guests. Yeah, I am very surprised we're getting, you know, major characters involved in this. I figured it was just going to be the Wanding Minstrel and me. That's it. But to bring Kane Senna into this little endeavor. Commander Helio has apprised me of your friend's condition. This is he. This he is. A pleasure to meet you. I am Kane Senna, Elder Seedseer of Gridonia. I thank you for your gracious welcome. I am Clive, though beyond that I fear my introduction may be lacking. Oh please, concern yourself not with proprieties. It is your memory loss we are here to address. I am told Garuda's name awakened some previous recollection. Yes, in the instant I heard it, a hazy vision of battle rose unbidden. I think perhaps if I could hear more of Garuda. A wish easily granted. And seriously, you just have to ask me. I've fought her multiple times at this point. Garuda is the deity revered by the Ixil, a people who once dwelt here in the Twelves Wood. She appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, is her capricious temper, as unpredictable as a howling storm. Well, that part tracks. I should add that Decamon has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation, several times in Veed. Yeah, she's a... Uh, she's a bitch. Well, that does sound familiar. A winged woman of volatile temperament with power over the wind. A fitting description of the opponent I remember. But a deity? No, 
the will behind that monstrous vicious was distinctly mortal. Mm hmm. I suspect Clive's Garuda and Eorzea's Primal are not one and the same. Hey, Yoshi. Mainly as Clive himself is not of our world. Explain yourself, Minstrel. How'd you even get in here? I went back to where we discovered Clive and questioned folk in all the nearby settlements. Not one person recognized his description. Such a distinctive tattoo escaping the notice of every local rumor monger for moms around. Improbable to say the least. And that led me to consider another possibility. One consistent with past accounts I have heard of visitors from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. It's like this is some sort of meeting ground for all sorts of different characters from different worlds. That's right, Clive. <laughs> My brand, it's... it's the mark of a bearer. I remember that much, barely. Does it pain you to remember? I feel the memories trying to surface, but when I strain to recall, piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda. Bearer. Ifrit. Another primal's name. T'would seem the pain has a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Victims of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth, the mind creating a shield of pain to protect the heart. Huh. Thinking this is a case of suppression? The, the barrier is of my own making. How then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Mm-hmm. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversity. Hmm. Well, that was odd. Clive, you, you all right there? You're kind of jittery. There we go. Clive was doing a bit of jitterbugs there. So, you think me from another world? And my memories of said world are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. A truth my mind refuses to remember. It is a confounding dilemma, I agree. And I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle. A drastic measure, perhaps. Especially when not at your best. Which is why I turn to you, Decamon. You are the twin to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no accident. The path I see is thick with thorns, but if you've the will to walk it, then gird yourself for war and await me at Akalu Falls. Gird myself for war, you say. So there will be some fighting involved. There we go. Man, the servers are not happy with this many people in one spot. They really are not. The path infernal. Ooh, loot. The minstrel has a plan, it seems, but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. Still, I'm willing to indulge him if it means making progress. We're to meet him at Apkolu Falls, right? And where is that to be found? Oh, don't worry. I'll find it. Good. Not far, then. Let's get on with it. And he's just gonna make his way there himself, huh? Ah, before I get too ahead of myself, let me pick up my mail here. There we are. My Dawn Trail pre-order bonuses. The earrings, which will give me some level boosting up to level 90 for all the classes I still have to get to 90. And a wind up Zidane. Thank y'all. Both of these are thoroughly appreciated. Good lord. Must be a long cutscene. There's a. Oh, it's more than just a cutscene. There's a duty calls. This should be good. This place. Why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Louis Swar gathered a band of adventurers in the time of the Seventh Umbral Calamity. And that means absolutely nothing to Clive. Their purpose? 
to extinguish the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit! Ow. I know something is there, I just... Why can't I remember? Mm-hmm. Clive recalled several words when the Elder Cetia's presence. Words which brought him pain. While the significance of Barrow eludes me, you and I are more than familiar with Ifrit. That we are. Oh god. The 16 music's going in hard now. Considering your reaction to the mere mention of the name, tis likely that the primal, or its equivalent in your world, is deeply connected to your condition. Thus have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the Ifrit of our world. Here, where Archon Louisor paved an ethereal path to the Primal's lair, will my words be given substance, and within the vision which takes form will you do battle with a phantom of our mind's creation. Wait, those extreme things are actually real? Oh gods. Imaginary though this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real. Yet you must persevere, for your hidden truth will not be enough without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star, and call upon the strength of your shining twin. Your past awaits. Huh. I wonder if the memory he's trying to block out is the memory of Sid's death. Duty calls. Level sink down to 50. Ugh. I mean, that's good that this lets more people do this content, but still, ugh that I'm getting knocked down to 50. Where has he sent us? If you stand in the Bowl of Embers, the site where the Amalgus summoned their patron deity, and the stage upon which the Warrior of Light became a Slayer of Gods. Ah yes, my first primal. It is but convincing illusion, the body of recounted tale given breath by fanciful verse. Come forth, Lord of the Inferno! So is this going to be 14's Ifrit, or is it going to be 16's Ifrit? It's 14's, okay. It is clearly 14's Ifrit. It's alright, I've kicked this guy's ass plenty of times. An accurate facsimile, yet not quite the Ifrit you know. No. Not quite the same. Oh. <gasps> oh, we're trading up. Oh, it's 16 Zifreed. Oh, now that's a fight. Maybe the maybe this happened right when he was accepting Ifrit. Maybe that's the time stamp we're at. It's time to uncover the truth. Ready when you are. Yeah. We're gonna beat the truth out of this fake Ifrit. All right. Time to find out who I am. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get some 16 fight music. <laughs> Ifrit. That's the thing which killed Joshua. Yes, I've been on its trail seeking vengeance for my brother. Yep, yeah, okay, so this isn't Sid that he's blocking out, it's the fact that he killed Josh. This fiend must pay. Fight with me, Decamon. <laughs> oh, eagerly. During this battle, you will gain access to special duty actions as follows. Ah. 
Use Rising Flames to charge the foe and inflict high damage. With the proper timing, you can use Dodge to avoid taking damage, even if you are within the area of an enemy attack. Oh. Certain enemy attacks will be preceded by a countdown icon. When the countdown progresses to the Dodge icon, use Dodge or die! After executing a successful dodge, dodge will change to Precision Strike, which provides an opportunity to inflict additional damage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I always love when we get some free duty actions. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm definitely going to have to keep chat censored. Somebody just went off. Alright, okay, I see. Uh, we have Clive. Who I want to keep focus targeted. Infernal Shadow! Ah, I did that too early. There we go, gods. Very nice. Ah, split up. Wonder why it won't let me use rising flames. I'm zoomed out a little more. Get out of there, Clive! Oh, he just did not care. Oh, maybe I need a buff to actually use it. get it if I actually dodge an ability that's supposed to be dodged. Fair. Ah, there's Rising Flames. Too early. Oh, wow, it actually gave it to me. So few abilities. Oh, that does good damage. That does really painful. himself and I'll stand here and just avoid everything I'd say it as he shouldn't be fetters oh I knew that was gonna happen is it attackable it is not Okay, buy him time. Oh, defend? Cl no friggin' way is this about that. Yes, it's just like Susano! Come on! <laughs> I'm so glad I got to do this as a paladin. I have the shield and everything. Definitely do a shit ton of damage with Rising Flames. I 
And the precision, Jesus, the precision is 3,000. I mean, I'm hitting him for like four or five hundreds at a time, and the precision's like 3K. And the Rising Flames is like, yeah, 10K. You need to do this every chance you can get. Taking chunks out of this guy. Uh oh. Come on, back in. A little sad that this is so easy, but it is a crossover event. Crossover event fights are supposed to be really easy. Love to see a challenging version of this. Uh, 14 event in 16. That would be awesome if there was. I mean, it wouldn't be the Warrior of Light, obviously. It'd probably be like the Twins or something. Uh-oh. Nails! Dude, these things are thick! Ugh, so much for the dodge. Clive's channel is something. Ooh, ooh, that chunked him good. That one's gone. Yeah, my dodge was insufficient. Smarted. That's smarted a lot. Uh, I cannot take any more just generic hits here. Uh oh. Well, that's dodgeable. Uh oh. Oh god. Probably the other side. Yep. Self, the guilt. Oh yeah, it was. It was. It was when he was accepting the truth that he'd killed Josh. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose what little was of myself. But I accept the truth of it now. You are not Ifrit. I am. Oh yes, find the flame. I'm so glad this is in the game. 
<laughs> yes, every slug first. It's kind of an abridged version, but that's fine. Ah. Welcome back, Clive. <laughs> and I think we get the Leviathan DLC in less than a month, too. In the battle against your own mind, it would seem you have emerged the victor. Intriguing. <gasps> Dargo! It's best Dargo! <laughs> Good boy. Dude, there are so many Eurasian dog treats we can feed you. Sudden bright flash, jeez. Hmm? Okay. Ah, I half expected Clive to have disappeared there. The illusion is unraveled, yet you've brought a friend back with you. <gasps> Torgo's still here! <laughs> he is a good boy. This is Torgo, a wolf pup raised in the Dookie. There is none more loyal ally in battle, and no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. He's also the best boy in the world. Ah, that would explain the aberration in the lingering ether. Torgal is here to lead you back to your own world. Oh, that was short. Clive has embraced his harrowing past, and in doing so reclaimed the memories he lost. Though not a conscious act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. Wait, this isn't my best friend? Even so, it was difficult to accept what I'd done. Well, it still wasn't your fault, man. My younger brother, Joshua, was a kind and gifted soul. The inheritor of the Phoenix's flames, he was destined to become Archduke, as our father had before him. But Joshua was murdered, his bright future cut short. From that day onwards, I lived for one purpose alone. A dominant of fire had slain my brother, and I would have my revenge. I spent years tracking the killer, until one day, I came to understand it had been me all along. Damn. I was young and distraught when I first summoned Ifrit. I hadn't known such power lurked within me, or that it could even exist at all. The transformation was instinctive, uncontrolled, and it was by my hand that Joshua died. Except he didn't, and he's still perfectly alive. I can but imagine the anguish this caused you. There was anguish, yes, and a guilt I will never escape, but I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel for Ifrit's power, and I need to know why. It was in search of answers that I went to Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth, and then everything faded to black. <laughs> hmm, your tale suggests that something in the ruins, some mysterious force, was responsible for your inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Eorzea from a place sacred to the Phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Yes, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that to see you home, that we must return to the beginning. Our road takes us back to the burning wall. Once there, your furry comrade will lead us exactly where we need to go. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And off we go. There you are. A little worried there when nobody was zoned in. We've come this far. Now Toggle will be our guide. Such was the purpose of his creation, after all. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ready, Toggle? Take me home. Oof. Once you've chose to depart, Clive and the Wandering Minstrel will accompany you. Torgal will then begin leading you onwards. Follow Torgal to his destination, and try not to fall behind. If you leave Clive and the Minstrel for any reason, or lose sight of Torgal, you may try again by returning to the starting point. I don't expect this to be overly difficult. I don't even expect I'll need my mount. Yeah, Torgal's going at a nice leisurely pace. And I am so high level that nothing in the zone would dare piss me off. That is at least one upside of not doing this at level. I don't have to deal with anything suddenly just getting angry at me halfway through the zone. I mean, most of these are blues, but there's a couple reds we've walked by. I've noticed that you don't see a lot of, like, blue aggro mounts anymore. Or blue aggro mobs. Almost everything from Heavensward onward was red aggro. Like, they were all just aggressive from the get-go. I wonder why they changed that. I like having some mobs that are peaceful and some that aren't. It makes more sense. Also helps when you're at level and you're just trying to get through a zone and suddenly you're like, you're not getting accosted by everything under the sun and this is clearly where we're going. Yep, here we are. The 16 world map. Is this it, boy? Good. The tale ends where to begin. Where you first found me. Mm-hmm. Indeed. I was baffled as to why this of all places would serve as a junction between our two worlds. But now I think I understand. Well, that makes one of us. You do. Some years ago, Eorzea was visited by a cataclysmic disaster known as the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Yet even as fire and ruin threatened all we hold dear, the world underwent a mystical renewal. It was as if the star was reborn. One theory attributes the miracle to a benevolent entity, claiming that the undying phoenix fled into being to save us in our hour of direst need. The phoenix? Yeah, I kicked his ass too. The burning wall itself is a scar left by those events, its crystal ridges having erupted from the earth overnight. Some believe these monoliths of solidified flame to be proof of the Phoenix's deliverance. The bond with your brother, the Phoenix of your world, may have been the connection which brought you to this sacred place in ours. Drawn to the flame. Hmm? Oh. He's heading out. Mm-hmm. It seems our time together is at an end. Thank you both for all you've done. Press on, friend. No matter how daunting the hardship or bitter the truth. May your journeys be fair. <laughs> fair. My man has got a hell of a journey he still has to go on. And yours as well. You don't seem the type to stand still. That is incredibly true. Come, Torgal. We have answers to seek, and Valisthea awaits. And off they go. See you around, Clive. Your DLC is in, what, three, three and a half weeks, I think? And then he was gone. I feel the stirrings of a ballad coming on. But please don't. Ah, uh, but nay. It would be hubris to imagine I could captivate Clive's story from so fleeting an excerpt. Hmm? 
That honor belongs to someone else. Someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. Sadly, the power to peer into other worlds was not granted me by this day's miracles. I wonder, however, if you might manage it, Decamon. <laughs> oh, 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 oh god, I feel called out all of a sudden. <laughs> Uh, I do hope there is a crossover event in 16 as well. I, I don't imagine it'd be much beyond just like a cosmetic item, but I'm okay with that. Alright. All we have left is to turn this in, it seems, as soon as everyone and everything starts loading in. I see people already enjoying their torkles. Ah, there you are. You moved. Our little adventure is over, set in motion as it was by a dream most cryptic. I must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. As for your promised reward, I hope this is sufficient. Togo proved such a trustworthy guide that I thought to bind his likeness to a summoning whistle. Oh, yes indeedy, a mount! <laughs> May his loyal spirit serve you well on your travels. Until we meet again! Oh my, oh my. Yoshi, you spoil us, man. You really do. Look at that. Matian attire, a Torgal whistle, and a Torgal minion! Yes! <laughs> you can now exchange MGP for special items by speaking with the gold saucer attendant at the gold saucer. Oh! Found the flame. Nice. Some new gear. A new whistle. And a new minion. Let's see what these look like. Minion, my minion, where is my little Torkoal minion? There he is. <laughs> According to the Wandering Minstrel, the beast who appeared to aid the stranded Clive was a guiding spirit born of its master's memory. So impressed was the ever-insightful musician by the creature, he decided to recreate a young version of it, which, despite its diminutive size, already possesses the indomitable spirit of the fine hound it will one day become. He's adorable. He is adorable. Now, where's my actual Torgal? Oh, uh, was a guiding spirit. So impressed, he decided to create the faithful facsimile in hopes that it might also serve as your loyal companion. Wait, he has an action? He has an action? <gasps> I can pet him while I'm riding him! Oh, wait. Oh, and it plays Find the Flame? Oh, you just became one of my new favorite mounts, Torgal. Straight up one of my new favorite mounts. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Uh, one last thing before we call this a day. You said there was new stuff at the Gold Saucer. Well, I am curious as to what that stuff might be. Be yeah, honest, it's been a it's been a heck of a long time since I've been at the Gold Saucer. And once again, I'm having to wait for everybody to load in here. Come on, guys! Oh, I see other people running around with Torgal puppies. <laughs> he is adorable. He is just straight up adorable. Lord, come on. Where be our guys? There we are. Price claim? Price claim four. Sport of Kings, Battle to the Death. These are old. All right. Oh, no, no, there's some new ones in here. I see some new ones, yep. To sail for Benzies. There's Find the Flame. There it is, 20k. Damn, that is not cheap. Take it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, there's more attendants over here. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for, but it's cool nonetheless. I thought there was also like a gold saucer. I think there was supposed to be a card too, wasn't there? Oh, maybe I have to do it over here. Uh, Brown and Pippin. Yep, there it is. Clive Rossfield card, 200k. <laughs> Still not as expensive as the Cloud card. Oh, but there we go. Oh, 
Maybe I should try out the new gear. I know it's not going to be near as strong as what I'm wearing. Uh, where is it? Is the real $5 question. Was this it? Quantrails? No. There it is, Metian. Hmm. Let's get some light on this. Not bad! Not bad at all. I will be saving this as a proper glamour set. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this one. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite. And subscribe to join me for more Eorzean and otherworldly adventures. And as always, I'll see you in Dawn Trail. Hey,